Okay, so for the flag six, uh, you need to create two pieces of code, uh, pretty simple. Uh, but to make sure that uh, you have everything that you need to uh, finish the flag six, I just want to kind of show you how to actually install some of the dependencies there. Uh, the project documentation shows everything that you need and has the links that I'm going to share here. Uh, but I'll, I'll guide you step by step on a Windows machine, for example, uh, on how to install on premises. So basically, for the flag six, you basically need two things. One you already have, which is Wireshark. So Wireshark also comes with a command line interface called eShark. Um, so I'll install here just to show you. But the first thing is installing uh, Wireshark. So that's pretty simple. Um, I'll be I'll show on a Windows machine. So I already downloaded Wireshark here. Um, I'll open up the install. Yes. And I'll start installation real quick. You see that when you install Wireshark, it also includes a T-Shark. So this piece is important to make sure that it's installed because this is what the PyShark library uh, on Python uses. So make sure that T-Shark is always installed and it's done into PyShark. Real quick. <clears throat> while it loads here, while it finishes the install, um, the second dependency that you need is PyShark. So basically, PyShark is a wrapper <coughs> for T-Shark. So what PyShark does is, you know, it kind of wraps all the functions and, and, and functionalities that you have on PyShark and uh, makes it available in Python so you can actually manipulate and use. So everything that you're actually doing uh, on a project can be done through common line interface and through PyShark as well. So the idea for the flag six is to basically kind of uh, uh, show how you use it so you can automate some tasks in the future. Uh, so we'll just finish this to install. Um, the documentation here shows also kind of a how to install. I mean, I usually recommend if you have Python, you know, you should have also pip. Uh, this makes installing, you know, libraries and packages on Python like pretty simple. And Pip and the comments that you have, it's kind of a, uh, it's the same across all platforms, Mac OS, Windows, Linux. So if you have install Pip and you follow instructions, that will be really straightforward. Um, okay, this is done. Still going through it. So for you to install, I don't know if you install or not without Wireshark completely installed, but it will try. So basically what we'll do is I'll just do Follow instructions to install PyShark. Okay, and you should be good to go. It is installed. So, as part of Flag 6, you also downloaded a zip file with this skeleton code here. Um, this kind of a gets what you need to actually complete the project. So what you need to do is, first of all, uh, do not modify this, but do modify your Georgia Tech ID here. Just put the nine digit Georgia Tech ID here. Um, this will be required. The auto grader will need this function and then we need to match your Georgia Tech ID. Uh, so as the project description, you have three tasks. So you need to, for the task one, code this function here. So you can leave an intact and this return a statement intact as well. And just put your code here to make sure that and returns the number of packages with only scene and act flags. The task two, pretty similar. Um, leave an and return statement intact. But you also have to implement here a function that will return the number of packages with only RST flag. Uh, and the task three um, will basically ask you to, you know, create a code where uh, through PyShark you will be able to identify what is the IP address of the victim and what port is being attacked. 
So this, uh, this, the, the, the PCAP that we provided for the flag six is basically a TCP uh, reflection attack. Um, so the idea is uh, you find out what are the hosts that are talking to this victim here and in which port and basically return this. Okay, pretty straightforward. Um, you can also leave this intact, but this will be useful for you for debugging purposes, right? Uh, because it show it, it calls the functions and basically shows you know the results here. So if you have all the dependencies installed, you should uh, be successful on running this code here, right? If of course you don't have the dependencies installed, like you know PyShark, uh, of course you get an error message here. Uh, another thing to notice is uh, this is the pcap that we provided. This pcap has to be on the same directory as you know your uh, Python code, right? What you need to submit is basically this code here. Okay. Um, so I'll show real quick how to actually you know use a little bit this Python uh, uh, class of the PyShark just for reference and to make your, uh, to help a little bit uh, on the server project. So let me just open up Python 3 here. So if I import PyShark, I get all the libraries here. So I'll do similar, similarly what I did here. I'll just load the pcap file that we have. Okay. Uh, so that's it. So the pcap file is loaded here. If you go back, on the on the GitHub for the PyShark, you see some examples on instructions on how to use it. So I'll do something very similar. So uh, if I come here and if I do a print, yeah, you see that the packet was loaded, and this is an array. So if I do this, I basically printed the first. Uh, package. So you have here the Ethernet layer, you have the IP layer, you have the TCP layer. So this is a TCP package. And that's basically it. Um, one cool thing for you to do, uh, if you maybe don't know how to start, uh, you can do this. Let me give an example. First, I'll create a function of uh, a variable called first packet. And this first packet will be this pcap zero host. Oh, it's cap. Uh, okay. So you see that now we have the zip package. If I do this, uh, if you don't know like the functions that you have available under this object, you can do it like a dir, dir. And this will show you basically all functions that you have here. So if I do this, for example, if I want to print only the IP header, print first packet y dot IP, you have uh, the IP header. It has all the informations here. Um, another thing that I would recommend is if you're not familiar to, with um, with uh, how maybe packages are uh, created or their structure and things like that. I mean, you can take a look into, you know, like how, for example, the TCP package looks like. I think on the Wikipedia, we have like uh, an image showing, yep. So this is how the TCP package looks like, right? So we have the source and the destination ports. Those are the bits and the bytes. Uh, then we have the sequence number, then we have the acknowledgement number, um, and then here we have the flags. So for the first and the second task, basically what I'm asking you to do is to look at this section of the TCP package here and find out packages that has the specific flags enabled. This will allow you to actually learn how to navigate through the package on the IP and TCP layer. and. Uh, and uh, make sure that you know you have skills and you have what we need to actually create like automations or even kind of a you know do all the research that you did for this initial project through you know Python and coding if you were familiar with that. So that's basically it. Um, 
again, uh, hope you enjoy uh, this part of the project. Uh, for the submission, that's pretty straightforward as well. I don't think I am logged right now, but um, uh, what you need to submit, what you need to submit is just this file here. So if you go on the grade scope and submit this PCAP analysis uh, file, the grade scope will actually run your code. We'll check, you know, the functions and we'll get, get you a grade on each of those three functions. Okay. Uh, you don't have a limit on submissions for this, um, for this part of the project. So feel free to use it and enjoy it. Thank you. Bye-bye.